Hi, thanks for joining us. We're going to learn how to download files from the network using a Flutter application that we're going to build and store it locally in your pictures folder of your Windows computer. We're first going to try to identify the local folders on Windows. We have to find the pictures folder, which is a little tricky because the path here is going to have the username of the person that's logged in. Once we know where to store the pictures on the local Windows system, we need to get a list of the URLs for the files. These are going to be images that we're going to download from this free site, Lauren Pixum. Which then we're going to start the image download using HTTP. We're going to use a GET request. Then we're going to update the some type of response window. Um, to make it simpler, instead of giving the download status per file, meaning that like you know it's 10% downloaded or 20% downloaded, which is a little bit more complex. We're just gonna show um, what file has been downloaded. So file one, file two, and that'll be a little simpler. And at least that way, if you're, if you're downloading 50 files, the person doesn't have to wait for all 50 to be downloaded before they get a message. Once we download each file into the system memory of your local desktop computer, we're going to save it to disk. We're going to have to start writing code pretty soon. And once we start writing the code, we have to name the files and put into different types of folders. So one way to organize the different files and the pieces of code is to break it up into the roles of what the, that piece of code is supposed to do. So there's going to be one group of files for local storage. And within this grouping of files, we'll have some code that gets the directories uh, and then save the files to the local storage. So remember, we need to find out where the pictures directory is on that specific computer. And so we need a bit of code to do that. So once we know where to store the files, and also this thing will save the files. We'll also need to pull the files over from the network. We first need to generate a URL list of the files that we want to download and store locally. And then the, we're gonna have to download it over the network and get it onto the local computer. So we'll probably group this into a grouping called network. There's also this component of code, which is a bunch of buttons and meet the status window. And so we'll call that into our group GUI. So initially, we'll have these three groups, local storage, the network, and GUI, and we'll try to fit our code into these three different buckets. I'm calling this the parts list because I like to work on hardware, but it's actually just a list of components that we'll need for our application. These are the third-party components such as path provider. Path provider provides a way for us to find the local documents directory on the Windows system. And with that, we can then find the pictures directory. We're going to pull the images from this great free site, Lorem Pixum. Get lots of uh, great pictures here with predefined APIs. We use HTTP to bring the image over from Lorem Pixum to uh, a, a local computer. We'll also use provider to manage the state of the application. So when you press the button on the application, we're going to want the response window to update. And although we could just use set state because the application is simple, most likely we'll want to keep working on the app. And so we'll use provider to manage the state from the beginning. You won't need it for this application, but we'll also continue on to use the uh, Rico Theta SC2. It's a camera and we'll use that as the HTTP server and pull the images from the camera. Initially, we're going to start off with Lorem Pixum to make it accessible to everyone, even if you don't have the camera. But we'll move the image server from Lorem Pixum over to the Rico Theta SC2. Application would be very simple. We'll just have a main screen that's split in two. The top portion of the screen will be a button to get the images. The bottom portion of the application will be a status window that just shows the status of the download process. It won't actually show the images in this window. The images will be on your local computer saved into the pictures file. Let's get started. 